Hi writers and readers, I'm Christy Stratus and today I went to a holiday party, hence the fun sweater and the snowflake earrings. And so on the holiday note, I bought myself a new Kindle for, I don't know, the holidays or rather because I wanted one, we'll pretend it's for the holidays. And here it is, the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, this is the, supposed to be the one that lights up. So I'm going to unbox it in front of you, unwrap the whole thing and uh, see what it's like. And the cool part about this video is I have with me the very first Kindle that came out quite some time ago. Um, this was given to me as a present. So we're gonna see just how different the two things are. So, let's see. Uh, it's got one of those fun boxes where you've got all these edges, but no actual openings. <laughs> There's no openings. Certified frustration-free packaging. Also funny. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, I see. So you're supposed to actually know to look on <laughs> the bottom. Uh. Ooh. It's very tiny. I don't know. On the website, it looks like the same size as this, but of course, it's not like measurements or anything. You know, you just look at it, and and it looks pretty big. So let's see now. It's in some plastic. It's frustration free, which means this should just come free, but it won't. Oh, it tears away. <laughs> All right, it's frustration free for normal people. That's fine. All right has the power button in like 10 different languages. Ooh, it lit up. Did I do it? Yes. You get to see it before I even do. <laughs> like I said, this is the one that lights up. I'll turn this one on too. This one instead had a button on the top and you would slide it to turn it on just real fast. And it had a couple of modes. I think it actually died forever. Oh no, no, it's alive, it's alive. <laughs> it's so old that it, um, it it just has a really hard time doing everything at this point. It doesn't move too slowly, but it just doesn't listen with the power button. When you, you can do standby mode, you can turn it off, and it doesn't really remember the difference anymore, I think. So let's see, um, English please. Ooh, that's right, it has a touch screen. And you can just touch English, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. So while that's loading, I have, just so you guys know, this, actually the power cord it comes with, um, it's only a USB, so you can only charge it like with a computer, unless you pay extra for the wall charger, that did not used to be the case, it used to come with both automatically. So, let's see, they did change from white to black, the black looks really, really nice. I could see if you were like traveling around and stuff and like this could get easily very dirty um but so yeah this this is the same kind of thing this is the old one you would just plug it in just the same as like any iphone and then like i said i had to pay like i had to pay like 20 bucks extra or something for this and they had some kind of discount i paid a little bit less All right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's got some lovely plastic because it's very pretty. And you want to protect it. Let's see. I'll get it eventually, don't worry. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's nice. So what you have is something that folds down even smaller. So when you're traveling, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged or taking up some little bit of extra room there. And then it plugs right into the bottom, it looks like. Yep, and then you could plug it into the wall, plug it into your Kindle. So that's kind of a nice change there. Oh, this is nice. It's really super bright. It says on it, like, high contrast, high resolution, everything. Um, it's even got some shading around the edges. The old Kindle never had anything like that. It does have, it did have um, some gray and stuff, but it was very, very straightforward, just mostly white and um, just plain, you know. So let's see. Let's get started. 
Wi-Fi. Now you had the option to buy this with um, a 3G plan, so you could do, I think it was Verizon, and you could buy a plan so that I guess you could use this maybe in more places or something. Okay, so it's got the little battery thing up there, similar to the first one. It's asking me to connect, connect to Wi-Fi. Oh! Okay, so it's picking up like my Wi-Fi that I have at home. Wi-Fi. Now you had the option to buy this with um, a 3G plan, so you could do, I think it was Verizon, and you could buy a plan so that I guess you could use this maybe in more places or something. This says I have... Okay, so it's got the little battery thing up there, similar to the first one. It's asking me to connect, connect to Wi-Fi. Oh! Okay, so it's picking up, like, my Wi-Fi that I have at home. Does it have... I wonder, I'm just wondering, like, the old, the old one didn't actually have that. All you had to do, it just went online by itself. I don't even know. Even when you wanted to go to, like, if you went to the shop and Kindle store, it would say something like, it just says wireless connecting, and it's not connected to anything that I have, it's just... I don't know, connected to the nebulous up there. Something something is connected. This one's actually asking me which one I want. I would assume that this drone thing is like the free one. Nope, it's not. Um, alright. I suppose I will have to use my own Wi-Fi. Well, that's really inconvenient because... So I'll have to get my password for this. That's pretty inconvenient because if I don't bring that with me, I guess I would have to go someplace that has Wi-Fi, so that's definitely already something I don't like as much. This was just, the old one was just, you could use it anywhere, I don't even know what it picked up. So not quite as convenient. I know that all the um, internet companies are really sort of charging you for everything. Um, whereas like, you know, when you had the internet before a lot of times, besides cable, if you didn't have cable, you could just download whatever you wanted and however much you wanted for as long as you wanted. And now, like, they nickel and dime you, of course. So it looks like Kindle has gone that way, unfortunately. Um, so let me get my password, and I'll get back with you.